Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming out tonight. Um, hit it, Steve. I would like to open with part of a poem by Khalil Gibran. He wrote, Your reason and your passion are like the rudder and the sails of your seafaring soul. If either your sails or your rudder be broken, you can but toss and drift, or else be held at a standstill in the mid-seas. This poem illustrates the need for both reason and passion to take us places in life, to both propel and steer us through trials and wrecking waves. As someone who has always been naturally drawn to the arts, I struggle to find a balance between my reasonable side and my passionate nature. Growing up, it was immediately clear that I loved drawing. Fortunately, my parents never complained when I asked to stop and bury myself in my sketchbook even when we were hiking. Sometimes I'm sure they did have to provide some reason and give me a gentle nudge. Drawing unleashed a deep desire to explore, to learn, and to reflect. You see, when someone is drawing, um, one thing that happens is they are constantly reassessing themselves in relation to the world around them. And drawing gave me a tool for adventuring, inspecting, discovering, and over time, fostering my own sense of identity. I had a loose grip on my passion as I eventually transitioned to high school. And for a while, I started to doubt. I started to lose sight of art's applicability to life and started to listen to nays naysayers. With college on the horizon, art fell to the wayside because, well, what was I gonna do with art? Everything changed thanks to a certain art teacher. Her name was Miss Heimrell, and she took me to community life drawing sessions on her own time and her own dollar. We met after school to pack up our materials along with our giant sketch pads, and we would turn on the radio and drive across town to a gorgeous white stone building. We squeezed into the cramped studio on the third floor and drew together for hours with other community artists. I was clearly the youngest person there by at least 30 years, um, but it was really fun for me. Um, learning to draw, draw the human form was deeply meaningful, and I learned to embrace our common humanity through drawing. With Ms. Heimrell's kind and generous guidance, I recovered my passion and remembered to cherish it and hold it close. Without passion, I had, been, I had wandered adrift, swept away by a strange current. Reason alone couldn't help me at this time, which is why I needed to genuinely ask, you know, what was my purpose? Before I came to college, art was, as I've been saying, a powerful part of my individual growth. But when I came to MSU, I grew to love what art, com what art does for others and what it accomplishes within our community. Art teaches us many things, such as to cherish the earth, preserve our culture, find what makes us unique, think in new and creative ways, see the world from someone else's perspective, acknowledge multiple and complex dimensions of our being, and above all, invest in each other. And so now my vital question is, how do we capture all that amazing, passionate energy, grow it, and harness it as a force for good? This question was in the back of my mind when I traveled to Italy last spring with 17 other art students from MSU. Not only did the Italian scenery, history, and culture lend new surprises every day, but so did my classmates. I realized that I was not the most talented person in the group, um, which I found really inspiring. Once again, I was pausing to gaze and draw in exciting new locations. This time, I was not the one holding the group back because all my classmates knew the drill. Our sketchbooks counted the days better than a calendar as days blended. After I returned to the United States, I gradually learned to understand Italy's effect. It lit a spark inside, and it's a different passion that I have now. It dawned on me that my excitement emerged from giving other artists opportunities, from being the Miss Heimroll for my peers. I want all artists to know um, that the future needs them. I interviewed classmates, professors, gallery owners, and local artists when I came back to Bozeman. And I obsessed over uncovering what artists needed to feel supported and empowered in our community. And I quickly realized that while I couldn't provide a studio facility, funding, or a gallery space, I could be an advocate and a teammate. In an interview, a fellow supporter of the arts said that her goal was to make art more than an afterthought, and I love this idea. When she said that, it clicked. 
for the arts to be embraced as a powerful tool, they couldn't operate in a vacuum. It had to be as integrative and, empower and as engaging as possible. And this is where the idea for my current project called Art Generation uh, began. Art Generation is an artist's task force that works on community projects with forward-thinking community organizations. Together, artists and organizational leaders collaborate on art-based projects to create meaningful and intentional impact. In the case of HEART, an anti-human human trafficking group, Art and Generation helped design cards um, for their letter writing campaign. These letters written by workshop attendants will go to political officials and business leaders in our community to spread awareness of the human trafficking that occurs in Montana. And this is just the beginning. There are countless partnerships to come. Gibran continues in his poem. Therefore, let your soul exalt your reason to the height of passion, that it might sing, and let it direct your passion with reason, that your passion may live through its own daily resurrection, like the phoenix rising above its own ashes. I would have you consider your judgment and your appetite, even as you would two loved guests in your house. Surely you would not honor one guest above the other, for he who is more mindful of one loses the love and faith of both. Passion, passion and reason both work together in our lives and our communities. By unleashing the passion of the artists here in Bozeman and elsewhere, our sails might catch a strong wind and send us sailing in a positive direction. It is gonna take all of us and a great deal of conviction to draw a brighter future. Thank you. Tia, go.